Let us see how the eye works. The cornea is a thin membrane. Okay, the light rays comes from outside and the maximum refraction of light takes place in the cornea itself. Just after cornea, there is a dark diaphragm called as iris. The color can be varied as I told you. There is a central hole of variable diameter. Variable diameter means the diameter can change. If the light is too bright, this will contract and diameter will reduce. If there is a dark outside, the light is low at that time, this hole will open up. The diameter will increase and more light comes to the lens. Now this complete eyeball is around uh, 2.3 centimeter sphere, spherical shape of nearby 2.3 centimeter. Okay. Now just after the iris, there is a biconvex crystalline body. I said biconvex crystalline body which is called as your lens. Now this lens is adjustable. Adjustable means it can get thinner or it can get thicker. Of course there are limits uh, to it but that means the focal distance can be adjusted by adjusting the thickness of the lens by itself or by the signals from the brain okay then the lens is adjusted in a such a way that the image falls on the retina the part of the retina macula the image form here is sharp and clear okay this image is generally inverted and real image now the light falls here now this retina is nothing but a light sensitive screen the light rays then falls on retina. The retina is a delicate membrane. It is nothing but a light sensitive screen. There are number of light sensitive cells which when illuminated get charged or evoked and sense electrical signals, generate electrical signals. I am telling you again, the retina is nothing but a light sensitive screen. It is a delicate membrane. It, is, it consists of a number of light sensitive cells. Light sensitive means whenever the light falls on it, something happens and it sends electrical signals. Okay, that is called as the light sensitivity. Now these electrical signals will be carried by your optical nerve to your brain. Now brain interprets those, uh, those electrical signals and then brain will tell you what you are watching okay so this is how the eye work now at the relaxed positions of the muscles eye muscles these are the eye muscles now at the relaxed positions of the eye muscles generally this lens is thin This lens is thin. I told you that the focal distance can be adjusted by eye muscles, by the action of eye muscles. So your eye lens can be bulgy or can be thin. At this point, your eye muscles are relaxed. Okay. The second focal point is on the retina. Second focal point of this lens is on the retina. So from the distance of around 25 centimeter, you can easily read and clearly read the things at relaxed position of your eyes. So it is always advisable whenever you are reading the books, it should be at least 25 centimeter away from your eyes so that your eye muscles are relaxed, your eyes are relaxed, it will not get strained and you can read it clearly and properly. Okay. So, at this relaxed muscles position, the distance object from the infinite distance object from 25 centimeter to infinite distance object are very very clearly visible because the sharp image falls on the retina where the second focal point of this lens is there. If you want to watch the nearer closer object, what will happen as the object getting as the object getting closer and closer, what happens? 
because of the action of these muscles that this thin lens will become now bulged one okay this thin lens will become bulged one your muscles are get strained and then focal distance is adjusted and again you will get sharp image on the retina okay but there is a limit of this muscles and this lens this lens cannot become a complete spherical or it cannot go on increasing its focal distance okay there is some limit so beyond that limit suppose you are taking your hand or book just try these things take take your book at around 25 centimeters from your eyes you can easily and clearly read it as and when you are taking that book closer and closer your eyes get strained and after some distance after some distance your text will be blurred you will not be able to read it very clearly why because that is the maximum point after which this lens cannot bulged more and the focal distance it at its maximum limit okay and if you constantly try to read like this your eyes muscles get strained and you will get headache okay that means your brain or your eyes are screaming take away take away let me relax so whenever even you are playing the mobile games you are watching your mobile any object you are watching reading doing anything that object must be minimum 25 cm away from your eyes so that it will not be strained the muscles will not be strained and eventually the eye will not be strained or you will not get any headache or so okay so this is how the eye work now two terms are left explaining the first term is adoption adoption term is related to your pupil the tendency of pupil to adjust the opening for the light is called as adoption so this adoption term is related to your pupil now there is one more term which is related to your lens power of accommodation power of accommodation of a lens is nothing but its ability to adjust the focal length okay but as i told you there are limits okay so as we said that 25 cm is an ideal distance for your eyes to be be relaxed and read it very clear text as you as you go on taking the text or whatever the object nearer to your eyes the thin lens will become bulged one okay the focal length will get reduced and beyond certain limit or beyond certain distance you will not see any image all the images will be blurred because that is the maximum point of the bulging okay so this is how the eye works and you should able to draw the eye you should able to nomenclature if you remember this in this fashion first draw lens then draw retina then draw iris then cornea and then complete the figure and at last draw macula at the center of the retina and of course then join this lens and uh, lens and iris with the muscles eye muscles okay at last you will draw optic nerves which carries the signal to your brain so remember this thing that this is a thin membrane retina is nothing but a thin membrane which is which works as light sensitive screen and is made up of number of light sensitive cells which when illuminated generates electrical signal this signal is transferred to your brain the brain interprets and then you perceive the object or you perceive the vision or you understand what you are watching one more thing this 25 cm is called as distance of 
distinct vision. This is called as a distance of distinct vision, this 25 centimeter. So here we finish the working and construction. I should not say construction because this, this is not a mechanical thing. But let us say the schematic diagram of human eye and its working. Okay, we have introduced a different parts. It's working. So you must draw this figure minimum 20 to 25 times till your exam, of course, not uh, at a time. 20 to 25 times to master it. You should be able to draw this eye eye diagram within five minutes. Even five minutes or more, you should be able to draw within three minutes. Two to three minutes, you should be able to draw this. Again, I have used this colored, that is green and red, just to show you, you should not use this red and green anywhere on your paper. You should show it by shading. No color pencils or paints are used. Okay. So, let us go ahead to next topic.